Hello. Happy Sunday. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. I know for many of you had people coming from out of town, family and friends, and how exciting is that? I know we had a wonderful time. And I'm just hoping that now you're allowing yourself a little time to relax because we all know that from Thanksgiving on, Thanksgiving and um, I was going to say Good Friday, um, Black Friday, and everything that just keeps moving, right? Now everything's getting escalated. Oh my God, I got to get a tree. I've got to decorate my house. I've got things to do. Well, again, I'm just letting you know that we are having our self-care, or I am having my 21 days of self-care that started on December 1st. You can always go back and relook at it and move from that place and just allow yourself the time for you. Taking a few minutes each day, I've given you great ideas of different ways that you can connect and just short, I'm realistic, short little ways that you can connect or have time for yourself. So make sure you're doing that. I'm also just wanting to take a few moments to talk about what I have going on. Um, I told you that I'm going to be not doing my uh, big winter solstice event this year because I need to take a little time off because of personal stuff. And you guys have been so kind with saying it's about time, take care of yourself and all of that. I'm also not doing the messages this year for the year. What I am doing is the audio. So the first week of January, I will have it ready to go out to everybody that will mention the energies of 2024. It'll also mean um, the energies, the astrology, the numerology, all of it, you know, um, the Chinese New Year and what and some predictions on what we can expect this year. I wish I could say everything's going to be wonderful and roses, but you know how that goes. So recharge up. Though the price of that is $30 if anyone wants to order the audio, um, and I will send it as an MP3 to you. The other thing is I'm also offering some specials for gift certificates. Anybody that needs gift certificates for yourself even, think of yourself, 20% um, off all gift certificates, half hours or hours for anything. Um, also, I'm doing $50 off a human design chart, which is two sessions that they're about three hours in totality there and um, $50 off of 200. If you, you at least have to purchase it, book it in December. The other thing is same thing with the gift certificates. And the other big one is um, Dream Builders. I will be talking more and more about Dream Builders, but Dream Builders is my coaching program that I love by Mary Morrissey, who's incredible. And it's a way to get a fresh start to the new year. Um, I am going to be offering $100 off on the 12 week series of Dream Builders that helps you um, be accountable and figure out what your dream is before we can even start taking action on it. And for those of you that have taken dream builders already i have a special deal for you if you want to do it again as a reminder and and create something else so you can contact me for that i don't usually put plugs in but for december i just wanted you to know what was going on so lots of energy happening i'm sure everybody can feel it it's like what the heck is going on and You've seen the messages about this time of year, as much light goes out, there's also dark that goes out. So we have to be on top of the light in this Christ-like, Christ-miss time. Okay, so we're going to start with Rebecca Campbell and the Rose Oracle. See what's coming up for this week. I think I'm going to have to move and turn my light on because... Her printing is always so small. Excuse me for one second while I turn the light on. Yay, I can see. 
All right, the sacred union, beloved within inner and outer relationships. Look at that beautiful card, all the roses and, oh, just beautiful. And she's nourishing herself. So talk about self-care, sacred union. The sacred union. Relationships are how we grow. They cradle and stretch us. Through connection and division, love and hurt, compassion and separation, they invite us to return again and again to the most important relationship we'll ever have, the one with ourselves, the sacred union that's been waiting within. Ancient mystery teachings whisper secrets of sacred unions. It says, every relationship can be seen as an invitation to deeper connection with the beloved within, even our most challenging relationships, especially the most challenging ones. The sacred union isn't just between you and another, it's returning to yourself. And when we return to ourselves, we also return to humanity as a whole. Maybe you're being invited to grow through relationships. Perhaps you feel like you're being tested or stretched or find yourself longing for something external. This is an invitation to deepen the connection within, to embrace yourself fully and treat yourself like the most precious person on the planet. The more embraced you feel, the easier it is to embrace others. Isn't that the truth? Soul inquiry. How can you embrace yourself more? Well, I can tell you that. And we got a jump start. Self-care, right? We embrace ourselves more by having self-care. I think we'll do her healing waters as the next one with Rebecca Campbell. I have all her decks. Just love her. What's up and coming for this week? The sweet waters, sensuality, romance, enjoyment, fertility, and balance. I love her artwork, and every single piece has a rose in it. And rose is the divine feminine, also Mary Magdalene, as we know. The sweet waters. In mythology, the sweet waters are associated with the fresh waters of the earth and with the sweet breath, breast milk of the great mother. It says, O sun is a great mother goddess who brings balance to earth and to humanity. And she's also referred to as the mother of orphans. In Italy, I don't even know how to say this, some place near Rome, there's a famous fountain called the Fountain of Diana, the fountain or the fountain of Mother Nature. It features a sculpture of the Roman goddess Diana as Mother Nature with multiple breasts out of which flow sweet, fresh waters. We know that we need fresh water to survive and yet we're not protecting and appreciating the very thing that sustains us. When the waters are clean and protected, life is in balance and the world is fertile. The card is an invitation. This card is an invitation to enjoy the simple, sweet pleasures of life, to appreciate the fertile fertility of nature all around you, to tend to your own garden and the sweet waters of your life. Soul inquiry. How can you recognize, receive, and enjoy the sweetness of your life a little bit more? I know, by taking time for yourself. <laughs> now we're going to the mystical wisdom. Love this. It's whimsical. It's by Gail Guthrie. 
dolphin. Don't worry, be happy. Love that, the bubbles. It makes me think of as a kid when we blew those multicolored bubbles. Dolphin. Here we are. The dolphins have the spiritual ability to uplift your spirits with its friendly, playful nature. Escape from the stress of life by being more relaxed and doing more of what you enjoy. Pursue your creative passion and use your energy in a more productive way. Try not to worry about issues you have no control over. This worrying can become a habit. So by taking a more relaxed and laid back attitude, you can conquer your stress and become more calm and content. The mantra is, I love to be playful and let go of worry. Amen to that. The next one is the Oracle of Seven by Colette. I hope you're going to relax a little bit today instead of starting the craziness of the running around. Ooh, another rose. Look at all the roses. The feminine is alive and well around us. So this says shining through. Look at that. It almost reminds me of you can't help it. Your soul, your soul light just shines through. Key concept, self-expression without filters or masks, authentic communication, being proud of who you are, shining in the world, refusing to make yourself small just to belong. You are being called to step into your true power and essence. This is one of those times when you're required to bring everything you are, all that you've learned, experienced, and integrated, and offer it up to service to the world. When you take center stage, you will be noticed. Yes, as you shine brightly, you will naturally stand apart from others. This idea may bring up excitement and genuine pride or discomfort. But this is not the time to make yourself small to avoid the glare of the spotlight and potential punishment by others. It's so amazing how many people fear success. You, yes, failure, but success too. It takes courage, but know that this is the right thing for you today. You have come, to, you have come so far. You have been in the proverbial back of the room in learning and gathering mode for so long. And this important time has served its purpose. You must now step into new consciousness, seizing a new opportunity to share your wisdom. You will be like a lighthouse shining through the dark, illuminating the way for others. Be careful of the voices in your head that say you can't or you don't know enough or who are you to shine? Any of you have those voices? The better question is, you are the one to shine. All you are and all you have become is by the grace of the divine. Now it is your day to share your gifts. Celebrate this. Very nice. And I think the last one we'll do for this week is Star Temple Oracle. Looks like we've got a good week. I say that mostly every week, but it is what you make it, right? Or you make of it. And I wanted to say something and forgot about the Sweet Waters ones and how she was talking about water. Water is the essence of life. How much do we take that for granted that we can bathe every night or shower every night or wash our hair or drink? How many people? It's very rare you don't see people walking around with some kind of water bottle. What if we didn't have that and we had to walk three or four or five miles to get water? We take it for granted, and we're very lucky about this. The Oracle forecast. I am the Oracle. My intuitive insights flow freely. Look at her in that beautiful emerald green. And she's doing mudras with her hands here. Beautiful. All right, let's see. A 
Okay. Star words, foresee, foreknow, foretell. Despite being the youngest sister of the Pleiades, is the wise and highly intuitive oracle of the star temple. She appears to you now to guide you forward on your spiritual quest for intuitive illumination. She also confirms that you are, <coughs> excuse me, you are an oracle of light yourself. You have the gift of prophecy and the ability to shine your intuitive torch to lead, excuse me, to lead and enlighten lost souls. Embrace your intuitive intelligence and focus on service. See, know, feel, and express your innate awareness and honorable intentions. Trust in your own inner oracle and cosmic link to the divine. So this week, sacred union with yourself. Remembering to be gra grateful for the water. Don't worry about things. Give it up. Play more. Shine your authentic self through and know you are an oracle already. Just trust it. I hope you have the most magnificent start of this week. As you make your list of everything you need to do for you and for others over this holiday season, take care of you first. I'm going to say it till you're absolutely sick of it. Take care of you and I'll do the same.